Hey guys, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. I have an outdated video showing how to easily empty your RV's tanks. That was from about two and a half years ago, so I want to do an updated version in the new RV on a day that's not raining. And I want to show you how easy it is to dump your RV waste tanks and also show you how I do it in less than four minutes. Seriously, I think if you're taking longer than four minutes to dump your RV's waste tanks, then you're doing it wrong. Um, We've all been there in line behind someone who's been there for a half an hour, 45 minutes to dump their tanks. I have no idea what is going on, but let me show you how to do it correctly. There's nothing to be scared about. It's a very clean, easy process. Get yourself a box of gloves. This will last a year, but get a box of gloves. I prefer the vinyl gloves over the latex gloves. One size fits all. Put it in the RV. Like I said, you're gonna get a year out of it. Glove up both hands. You are not gonna save any money by only putting a glove on one hand and trying to do all your work with that one hand. Also, before I start dumping the tanks, I wanna make one quick point, basically talking to the men RVers out there. A lot of us think that you can save how long you can actually make your onboard tank last by every once in a while when you have to go number one, don't use your toilet, but go outside in the woods and piss next to a tree or something. You know, a lot of people think that they can extend out the, the, the length of their holding tank if we go urinate somewhere else. The problem with that is you're not going to get the right mixture of solids inside of your actual RV holding tank. Therefore, breaking down some of the solids is not going to work as well. You're going to have clogging issues. So you want to use your onboard toilet just like normal that you would in a normal home. Do all your number ones, all your number twos in there, and keep the ratio of solids to liquids even. I've been RVing for over six years now, and I have never had an RV holding tank get clogged up, stuffed up for any reason. And as for locating places to dump your waste on the road if you're a full-timer, the best resource I can offer to you is the smartphone app Sani Dumps. It, there's a free version, there's also a paid version. It's great for locating places. Uh, it also includes some ones that you have to pay for, not just the free ones like this. Or you can just look for the really generic universal sign for free dumping, the blue sign that has a little picture of a trailer and an arrow pointing down. Those are free. I find them all over the place like this for free. Uh, if it's your first RV, you're going to have to find out where the sewer line is stored. could be in a multitude of places. It could be in a side compartment somewhere here that's shaped in a square. you got to open that up and pull it out. The most common place you're going to find them, though, is built into the back bumper. So if you have a square-looking bumper like this, it may have a cap on it that you can open up, and that's where your sewer hose is going to be located. All right, and then off to the rear driver's side of your RV is where your waste valves are gonna be at. Go ahead and unscrew the cap. This cap does need to be secured onto there by law while the motorhome is in motion at all times. It cannot be dragging like this. Attach your sewer hose and periodically check to make sure that this is tightened all the way onto the plastic housing. Uh, I do have one circumstance where this came off of the plastic as I was dumping it. It was a nasty disaster here on the concrete. Open up the sewer lid, pop that guy in there. When you are dumping the black tank, which is the tank that holds contents of the toilet area, make sure that you do have at least a quarter of a tank from your gray water, which would be from your sinks and your shower, because you're going to use that at the end and I'll show you how to rinse that through. But locate your black tank first. Behind these valves, look at the actual pipe size. The bigger pipe, the four inch pipe, is going to be your black tank. The smaller one, like this one right here, is going to be your gray tank from your sink and your shower. So you want to start with the black tank first. Yours might be on an opposite side, but just pick the one that's bigger first. So we'll empty the black tank. Again, like I said, this entire process from the time I park my RV to the time where I drive my RV away should never take more than four minutes total. 
okay, once the black tank is no longer draining any more fluid, keep this open for a little bit longer. Open your gray tank right here, because that's gonna be your rinse water. What that's gonna do is splash a little bit of water back towards the valve area where this black tank is. After about five seconds, I'll go ahead and close it. I just wanna make sure that there was no solid substance or toilet paper blocking the valve, so that's what the gray water will end up doing. And then about halfway through dumping the gray water, what I like to do is kind of pick up the hose right here and do a little, and make a little pee trap in here. And basically what I'm doing is allowing some of that gray water to completely fill up this hose. I want to rinse off any extras that may have been left behind from draining the black tank. And once that's completely full in my hand, I'll just drop it again and let it go once more. When I say it only takes four minutes to do this process, I'm not including cleaning the tanks. And a lot of people like to clean and sanitize their tanks every single time they dump their tanks, and it is absolutely not necessary. I do it about once every eighth time I dump my tanks. At the very most, once out of every fifth time. But what you're gonna wanna have is something like this. It's, it's a wand. I will bring this closer to the camera so you can see. It's a wand, you can hook, have a threaded hose put right there, and then it's got four or five holes right here so that when the pressure water comes in here, it's spraying this at a very high rate, almost like a pressure washer. So the hose would go into here, this drops down into the toilet inside your RV, and then you turn the water on, open the valve, you're pressure washing the bottom of the actual tank and you're getting any gunk that may have been left behind out of there cleanly. That process alone can take another five minutes added to it. Like I said, I only do it once every eighth time. It's not necessary. It's okay to have a little bit of leftover stuff at the bottom of the tank. Once all of the gray water is out, go ahead and close the gray water valve as well. Go ahead and take this off, set it aside. Make sure you put your valve cap back on. Now while the sewer hose is still connected down there underneath the lid, pick this up, grab your rinse water, which hopefully most RV places are gonna have this. Do not drink from this water, by the way. Don't ever use this water to fill your drinking water. I'll show you how you can take care of that. But I like to just put it under there, grab my finger like it like that, make sure it's secure. Make sure it's secure because once you turn this on, you do not want anything splattering back out and getting on you. So put your finger over the hose, hold it like this, turn it on. This one has a 40 second auto shut off. So we'll turn it on, let it go. I'll just rotate it a little bit while it's still in there. I don't want to clean up a whole bunch of gunk outside, so clean it like this. About 10, 15 seconds. Then pull it out, set it right there carefully take this out, rinse off everything, rinse off the concrete in case there was any spillover. One more note about the wand, if you were going to do your tank cleaning service, you're going to need fresh water. And here there is no threaded place to put this at. So about 40 yards up here, there is actually fresh water. If you had a long hose, you could hook your hose into that then bring this into the bathroom. They also sell an attachment, I cannot remember what it's called, but it's something that you can hook a threaded underneath the sink in your bathroom. So you pull out the existing aerator and put in a new type of aerator that has threads that will match up to the standard garden size thread here. And then you can just turn on your own water pump, put that down in the toilet and do it as well, just so you know. But I will put the sewer hose back in here. I store my wand right inside the sewer hose like that. Good to go. You can take off your gloves and then what I do is I go inside and I also use hand sanitizer on my hands just to make sure absolutely that my hands are clean. Obviously this took me a little longer to do today because I'm doing the tutorial and trying to show how to do it, but like I said, in and out in four minutes or less. And then we'll drive up and also top off the water tank. Um, I have talked about not using sanitizers and cleaners inside uh, my toilet tank. And the main reason for that is because a lot of these RV places want you to use five different types of chemicals. One for breaking down, uh, one for sanitizing, one for smell and everything. And I've always said that I didn't need it. Well, the smell is important to me. So I get this stuff. This is Camco RV Toilet Treatment TST. 64 treatments, you only need two ounces. So just a quick little pour of two ounces into the toilet and it kind of just helps the smell taken care of. This is from Concentrate, so 
Uh, what you do need to do is put a gallon of water in your toilet. So as soon as you're done emptying your tank, go right back inside, flush your toilet, and put a gallon of water in there. You do not want nothing in there. So have a gallon of water in there and then put your two ounces of cleaner. I think this is like eight bucks and this will last half a year for me. Okay, and then lastly, toilet paper. Uh, RV supply companies so like Camping World and other places, they're gonna be, they're gonna hate me when I, when I talk about this, but guess what? You don't need to buy the specialized, rapid dissolving toilet paper. I go to Walmart and I buy Angel Soft. I have been using Angel Soft standard household toilet paper for over six years now. And like I said, I've never had a problem. I've never had a clog, never had any issue. So feel free to use RV approved toilet paper if you absolutely feel it necessary. Don't necessarily do what I do because I said do it, but I'm just offering that information out there for anybody who's listening. You can use probably any toilet paper you want in an RV and never have a clogging problem. So there you go. I'm gonna put away everything, then we'll move up and get water. So as you can see, pulled up about 40 yards and now we have fresh drinking water, or potable water, potable water, however you want to pronounce that. That means it's safe to drink. Now, I know a lot of people do not drink the water from their onboard tank. So they would never, they would never open up their sink faucet and put a cup under it and drink out of it. Well, I do. I don't know why a lot of people don't don't trust the water. If you're in charge, if you're the person sanitizing this tank every six months, twice a year, you sanitize this tank and you're the one who puts the filtered water in every single time, then you should be able to drink the water yourself. Um, granted on the road, you're gonna have a lot of different kind of tasting waters from city to city, from state to state. Uh, plus some water has uh, fluoride in it. I mean, there's a lot of changes, but you know, it's free and it's included. I do use these Camco exterior uh, carbon filters. You can get like a two pack of these at the blue store for about 10 bucks and they last 90 days. So it's a pretty good deal. This one has a 40 second auto shut off. So I'll start it. Just make sure all of the carbon is out of it even though I've already used this filter. I just wanna make sure all the carbon is out of this filter. And yes, I will drink this water. I will drink any water that is free that I know is safe to drink all the time. That's it, that's easy. Even with filling my 42 gallon fresh water tank up full, I'm in and out in this entire place in less than 10 minutes. Dumping your RV tanks is easy, simple, it's clean if you do it the right way, and it's incredibly quick. So if you're taking a half an hour to dump your tanks, you're probably doing it wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, see you next time. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.